Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry have announced they intend to keep their birth plans private but what is the reason why? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have a short time left until they welcome the arrival of their first child. Buckingham Palace said today the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have no plans to share the details of the birth in a marked departure from royal tradition. A palace statement said, The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their royal highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep the plans around the arrival of their baby private. The Duke and Duchess look forward to sharing the exciting news with everyone once they have had an opportunity to celebrate privately as a new family. The statement indicated there will be no immediate photo call following baby Sussex's birth, who will be seventh in line to the throne. This is in marked contrast to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge who posed outside the Lindo wing soon after Kate had all three of their children. The Buckingham Palace statement about the decision by Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, has certainly got tongues wagging. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter tweeted, There is obviously massive global interest in the Sussex family but this baby will be seventh in line and unlikely to be an HRH. Harry and Meghan are establishing their intent to keep their baby's life as private as possible from day one. Royal correspondent James Brooks tweeted, Not hugely surprising, given the new sharp royal baby's place in the succession and Harry and Meghan's general desire for privacy. We'll be told when sharp dashes off Sussex is in labor, as with the recent royal babies, and photos of the new family of three will follow in days after the birth. The loose women panelists were largely critical, with journalist Jane Moore branding the decision weird. On Meghan and Harry's decision not to make an immediate birth statement, she said, Who does that? That's such a weird thing to make an announcement that you're not making an announcement. I get that she doesn't want to come on the hospital steps with the newborn baby and that she wants a home birth, but if you're going to have a baby at home, what difference does it make if you just tell people that you've had the baby? Actress Najasa Walha agreed, saying, If you're trying to dissuade interest I think this creates it. They wanted us to be invested in their love story, and we are, and part of that story is their baby being born. But fellow loose women commentator and singer Brenda Edwards defended the couple's decision. She said, I'm not too fussed about the fact that they want us to give them a bit of time. Let them enjoy the baby there's so much pressure on them. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision has equally been praised and criticized on Twitter. People remain divided on whether their royal roles should enable them to be afforded such privacy. But royal biographer Hugo Vickers told The Independent the decision was keeping in with Meghan's character. He told the publication, This seems to me completely in character with the mother-to-be. She will do it her way. She is lucky that the Home Secretary no longer has to be present at royal births, a custom abolished between 1936 and 1948. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.